there are plenty of classifications there are so many new classifications also which includes more than 10 different categories but as far an undergraduate is concerned postgraduate is concerned rather than thinking about all those category in order to remember things divide into four whether it is a phagocytic disorder t cell disorder b cell disorder or complement disorder phagocytic disorders what are all they step 1 what it is addition and rolling whenever you have a problem with a neutrophil addition and rolling it is called leukocyte addition defect that is called as lad leukocyte addition defect after the neutrophils adhere and rolling to the endothelium it has to go to the cell in that it needs to combine with the the phagocyte phagolysosome of the phagocyte should combine with the microorganism if it cannot combine the phagolysosome cannot occur that is called as what chidiac higashi syndrome this is called chidiac higashi syndrome that is called chidiac higashi syndrome and finally the microorganisms are engulfed by the neutrophils but it cannot kill because of the absence of nadph oxidative burst that is called as what chronic granulomatous disease that is called as cgd chronic granulomatous disease these are all the phagocytic disorders when you come to t cell disorder what are all the t cell disorders absence of third pharyngeal pouch and fourth pharyngeal pouch yes you are correct dijarge syndrome you are correct dijarge syndrome Two, presence of eczema and infection, hyper IgE syndrome. We are going to discuss in detail. Your Th1 fails to secrete interferon gamma, fails to control your mycobacterium tuberculosis. What is this MSMD? Mendelian susceptibility to mycobacterial diseases. MSMD. And finally, your Th1 cells fails to attract the neutrophils, leading to what? oral candidiasis and then skin candidiasis otherwise known as chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis what is then then it is followed by it is followed by b cell disorder b cell means b cell secretes antibodies when you don't have antibodies the deficiency can be called can be divided into 3 whether it is a qualitative defect or quantitative defect quantitative defect means there are no b cells there so there are no antibodies this is called bruton what is quantitative disorder qualitative disorder b cells are present but it is not producing antibodies this is called qualitative b cell disorder otherwise known as common variable immunodeficiency finally selective iga deficiency selective iga deficiency you have seen t cell you have seen b cell in some disorders both t cell and b cell will be involved that is called combined t cell and b cell what are all the things that can come under combined t cell and b cell disorder they are as follows it is severe combined immuno deficiency wiscott alrich syndrome ataxia telangiectasia and what else you have pot hyper igm syndrome and then complement disorders it can be a c3b deficiency it can be a c5 to 9 deficiency or it can be c1q to c2 deficiency three types this is how basically you need to remember with respect to classification of primary immunodeficiency my dear students